I couldn't be more happier to start my 2018 season off by wrapping a tag around this five and a half year old buck I call Misfit. Well, we pulled my buck out of the woods last night and uh, here he is, a great buck, great Missouri buck. Well, yesterday evening, uh, Logan and I were finally able to change our luck a little bit. We got to harvest this deer, we called the Tall Tight 10. Well, I guess the buck was meant for you, you spotted him and... Saw him there and then boom, saw him when he came. As soon as he came out, yeah. You know, this is the buck that I missed on my birthday. Actually, I hit him in the tail. Today, he wasn't so lucky and he didn't get away to this morning. What an absolute stud of a deer. I know he's maybe not the highest scoring buck, but just his frame, his age, um, the pursuit of this buck for so many years is what makes the story on this one. Well, opening morning arrival season, it's eight o'clock, we are done and tagged out. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddy Back, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, and Realtree. It's June 11th. Tyler and I are up here at the farm playing some soybeans on the outskirts of this cornfield where we have plans on sliding a redneck in the edge of the field between that and the clover where we've had several encounters of our mature bucks using that area. Hopefully with that being said, it's gonna allow us to wrap our hands around one of our main hit listers this year. It's July 31st and Justin and I are out here on my home farm. Uh, we're just preparing the soil today for what's going to come tomorrow. We're putting down nitrogen and doing a little bit of tilling uh, on our turnip and oats plots. So our theory is we till up the soil, you know, get it real nice and fine and then let it get dry on top. And then we're going to top seed the turnips on it tomorrow. We got rain in the forecast for the weekend. So we've had better luck with that. We're not putting the turnip into a somewhat moist seed bed and getting it to germinate and then sprout and then not take off. So we leave it on top, dry soil, let the rain take care of it. Seems to work perfect. So uh, I got about two acres of standing beans here. I'm gonna have a nice walkway essentially of oats for the deer to come into early season here. And then I've tucked away the turnips down in the corner for late season. The, tier, the deer typically don't hit the turnips too hard here, but uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty sweet early season setup as we got several decent deer using the cutty back cameras already. Well, uh, two things, good news. I finally got pictures of Geronimo this year and um, he's exactly what I thought he would be, same, same exact size. So he's six years old and he's not getting any bigger. So I put up a couple cameras two nights ago and uh, I'm gonna check it here in about a week. And if I get lucky and it turns out Geronimo's been living there the whole time, I'm be super excited. So I'm hoping this new Hoyt Helix brings me some luck this year because I haven't uh, shot a deer in since two Christmases ago. Well, it's uh, August 29th out here. Me and uh, Kyle just bought a new house and it came with 20 acres. And it's uh, definitely got a lot of possibilities. Right now I'm out here just putting some uh, mineral that Chris Hale actually made up for me. And, Get put some corn out and get a couple of cameras set up and see what's out here. You know, there's a few ponds on here, you know, a lot of cedars, some good trees around here, and there's a ton of timber surrounding this area. So a lot of possibilities. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a good deer here, but you know, 20 acres isn't a whole lot, but at the same time, it's definitely enough to get something done on. So we'll definitely update you as soon as we're hunting a few different farms and let you know each hunt, which bucks we're after, and what ones we might encounter. So stick with us and hopefully we have a great season.